Burrow last year, we were, one of the things, the topics was college rivalries, and I asked him about one memorable one, and he said, yeah, that Alabama game, we went in there. He, he starts talking about the feeling and what it felt, and he stops, he goes, yeah, and we knew we were going to win. I, I, like, that was how that team felt all year. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess it's a good memory. And Vegas show. likes them to win tonight. The Dolphins may be 3-0, and but they're an underdog on the road, and a big part of that is the health situation involving two and you told us earlier that the expectation while it is not a certainty is right. that he will play yeah they listed him as questionable but he was able to practice you know it, it is dealing with a back issue if that were to flare up and become worse today uh, they could conceivably decide not to play him but I, I don't the expectation is he should be good to go so I asked earlier this morning we had a lengthy debate both yesterday and a little earlier today on what it, exactly it is that Tua has or has not proven with three good games so far for whatever that is worth, I asked for the picks. Chrissy, uh, let's put the picks up there. Oh, no, we're going to do that a little bit later. We'll put the picks up there on the mm -hmm. screen. But one of the questions that I have for you is, are you all are you completely sold on these Dolphins? They're 3-0. and I've had Robert Griffin up here telling me they're the best team in the National Football <laughs> League right now. If this was the BCS, they would be ranked number one. They would be. Why are you making that face? Man, man, I don't know if we you know, drug test our analysts, but we may have to start. Come on now. <laughs> Why would, they've beaten Baltimore. They've beaten Buffalo. They've beaten New England. What more do you want? I mean, that's a Fugazi, you know, three and zero. Oh. We it all is? <laughs> like, so we, we remember, remember sitting here and we're talking about a couple years ago, talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers. They were eleven and zero. We knew that that was wasn't a real strong, solid, you know, eleven and zero. Are they a good football team? Yes, they are a good football team. Are they elite? You know, maybe they may be pushing. They're, they're, they're on that line, but I don't think that Tua is a great quarterback. You know, what I mean, I think he's a solid quarterback that's doing what he's supposed to do. Right, but I, I, by no means do I put him in the, in the likes of you know the person on the other sideline today. You know, he, which is Joe Burrow. Yeah, Joe Burrow. He's not in we, Joe Burrow's we, class. We know it when we see it, Greeny, and it don't matter what the record is. We know elite quarterbacks when we see it. That's why we always had a conversation about Dak. We had a conversation about Kirk Cousins. Like. We know that right now, even looking at Trevor Lawrence, we know Joe Burrow. You know, Joe Burrow's coming off to a slow start, you know, maybe a victim of their own success. He missed a lot of the, uh, the start. A lot of these Green Bay type of Sean McVay philosophy guys are struggling coming out of the gates fast. I think right now Cincinnati's hitting their stride. What is it? Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.